Mr. Rishi Sharma, hearty congratulations on securing All India Rank 8 in GATE 2025 in the Computer Science Engineering paper. Uh, Rishi, uh, it seems you have taken from ACE Academy our online test series and also our mock test for our GIT preparation. Can you please tell us how ES Academy online test series and the mock test helped you in your GIT preparation and cracking this GIT exam is such a wonderful rank of All India Rank 8. Yeah, sure. So first of all, I would like to thank you uh, for congratulating me for the rank. So uh, actually, uh, like what I feel that for any exam, uh, the test is the best thing to improve your performance in the exam. So actually what I thought that uh, if I give more and more tests, I will be able to find the mistakes which I can avoid giving in the main exam. So my aim was uh, majorly practice focus. So I, uh, uh, I, I had given uh, like uh, many tests and uh, it, uh, it actually helped me to improve my mistakes. Like it, it was not like when I given the test, I directly got 80 marks or 90 marks. So initially I used to get less marks. So I improved from the quality of the question present in the test series. And uh, I uh, keep on improving test by test. And actually the last test which I given, which was the All India mock test, I got All India rank 5 in that mock test. So it was a gradual improvement. And the quality of questions were also very good. Uh, actually, you can see I got 5th uh, rank in the mock test and 8th rank in gate. So it shows like how close the test was compared to uh, the main exam. So it really helped me improving my mistakes. And one more thing, can I say that our yes online a mock test series in our computer science uh, engineering. So the standard is almost similar to that uh, real gate paper standard yeah. given by IH. Yeah, yeah, sir. Yeah. Actually, like what I felt that like I had given many other coaching tests as well. Like I felt like some of the coachings are having three to four times harder test series compared to gate exam. So what I feel the best test series is the one which give you the environment close to gate or little tougher than gate. It's not like if you are giving two times tougher than gate, you will perform the same. Because in the end of the gate exam, confidence matters. So you need to give around the gate level test series. So what I felt here that the paper was very uh, close to, uh, like my uh, my exam set was set to. And when I given the AIMT of uh, AS, actually I felt a lot of MSQ was there. And even in set two, many MSQs were there. So uh, I feel like the, uh, the test was very close to what uh, it came in the gate and many MSQs. Like initially I felt like why uh, AS people are giving a lot of MSQs. I, I, I do not find in the uh, previous PYQs. But in the set two actually it happened like many MSQs came. So uh, definitely it helped and it was very close compared to uh, like the main yes, paper. Actually you should replicate the real uh, gate exam pattern. Yeah. That is the best, the best uh, thing, right? Uh, uh, Mr. Rishi, uh, when you took this uh, mock test series, initially you said you used to get low marks there, right? So yeah, how yeah. you gradually uh, improved upon it and how you could score such All India rank 5 in our mock test and 8th uh, rank in the real gate examination? What was that, the transition that you did there? Uh, sir, uh, like one of the things which I usually see like other people lacks while giving the test is like they take the test as a like kind of real exam. Like if they got this marks in test, they will also get the same marks in exam. But like how I took it is, I, I took it as a learning. Like whenever I give a test, I do not get demotivated. Instead, I get motivated that I did the mistake. Now I won't be doing in gate exam. So I learned a new thing. So that way my mindset was like, I will give a test. I will get to know my mistake. I will note it down and I will improve on that in the next test. So this way I decided to give more and more tests so that I can do all the mistakes now instead of doing in the main exam. So that uh, like slowly, like yeah, it was not like my curve was uh, linearly up. It again went down in between, but uh, it actually helped. Uh, so like, definitely while giving the test, your mindset should be strong. You should not lose the confidence because even in the S test, some of the tests were harder than get, but we should be prepared for that. You should not uh, like just get demotivated if some of the tests are harder because uh, we cannot predict like what exactly will, the, will be the gate paper it can be easier it can be harder it can be lengthier so all kind of uh, different different uh, scenarios were there in the different different tests so that actually helped uh, or prepared me for any kind of uh, like test uh, like exam can come in gate and one more mr rishi see for example if you see yes mock test uh, right and also this uh, online uh, test series also 
there are so many tests are there right so how you used to schedule this uh, different type of test in your preparation um so uh, it's like sir what i feel like many student did this mistake of giving the test in the end like maybe december or just before january so what i feel like as soon as you are done with your uh, subject you should take the test series as soon as possible like let's say you are done uh, like with 30, say 70 50% of your syllabus maybe in Jan, uh, in june july so you can take the test series at that time you can start giving the test because as early you are able to identify your mistake you will be able to uh, perform well in those like let's say if you are identifying your like some of the uh, part of a subject is weak in january you do not have time to much improve at that time so you should take the test as early as possible uh, maybe like whenever you are done with a particular subject you can start giving the test so my mindset was give the test as soon as you are done with the subject so what about this a full length mock test on the entire syllabus in which month did you take those tests um uh, like i kind of started around october uh, time like full length uh, that te- these tests actually then what you used to do in the month of uh, what you call uh, january uh uh like january uh, i was mostly involved in the uh, you can say revision plus test okay um like i give the test and then i do the analysis and uh, uh like i point out the mistakes and like note it down or maybe keep in my mind or like some digital notes and like that okay rishi how many marks you got for this alinea uh, rank 8 what is the score also Uh, so i got uh, like my was mine uh, set was set 2 so the raw marks which i got are 77.01 normalized marks are 90.75 and score is 976 okay so in our computer science uh, uh, which subjects have fetched you more marks this year uh, mr rishi uh, uh, sir actually uh, i did, didn't prepare three subjects like these were the subject which i didn't even went with the preparation like computer organization architecture discrete mathematics and engineering mathematics but the rest of the subject were so strong like i almost got 100 95 to 100 percent accuracy in remaining subjects so uh, like data structure algorithm i got uh, all my question correct in ds in c programming and algorithm in all these dbms i got almost 90 percent correct operating system i got it operating system toc i got 80 percent correct Uh, and yeah compiler design was the one which actually uh, uh, costed me the air when i got just two marks in that uh, uh, question so but, uh, and uh, like e- engineering mathematics uh, like it was relatively easy compared to previous paper so i even with, uh, with without studying it uh, it uh, gave me uh, like 6 to 7 marks but yeah discrete mathematics i got only one marks because i didn't even with the preparation for it Right, right. You said that you did not make any in-depth preparation in the case of uh, comp- CO, discrete yeah. mathematics, and one more subject you said? Engineering mathematics and uh, uh, DM and CO, these three. Any specific reason for that? Why you have ignored those subjects? Any reason? Because of lack of time or anything else? Uh, yeah, definitely, sir. I was uh, preparing with the job, so I do not have time, but still I could have prepared, but I... like do not like those subject like i am more software oriented and co is little bit uh, hardware so i tried to uh, learn it but i didn't enjoy the subject so that's why uh, i went without it even i didn't expected i will get this ring but yeah okay right so you have proved that uh, even though you leave one or two subjects also if you are strong in the remaining subjects quite possible to get uh, such a wonderful rank of single digit in the gate examination yeah yeah like many Yeah, students do this mistake of subject completion mm. they, they do not cover the like they do not focus on accuracy but they focus on subject completion but it do not help uh... right uh, uh, rishi uh, i want to know that uh, uh, can you please tell us about your educational background when did you pass out yeah yeah so sir actually uh, i have uh, cleared iit je in 2017 so i had done my btech from nit suratkal uh, com- in computer science then i have done internship in iisc bangalore in my second year then at cisco in my third year and then i got the pre placement offer at cisco so i was working as a full time engineer uh, cisco for one year and then i switched, uh, switched to palo alto networks so i worked there for two and a half year so actually uh, while working in all these companies i find out that uh, i am more prone to uh, like government job where we interact with the people administrative job like that so that's why i 
decided to prepare for the gate because i wanted a government job so that was the reason of preparing now uh, one interesting point uh, rishi you uh, completed your engineering 2017 right no no 2017 i got selected 2021 i completed okay in 2021 you have completed and for last 3 4 years you have been doing the job right yeah i was working in the corporate okay but uh, you are working uh, you you worked in the cisco and all the very good companies right having worked all these companies uh, now you want to switch over to what you call uh, public sector in it right uh, no sir central government central government then how do you want to enter through this gate examination uh, so sir actually to because what i found that when i my first impression was like there is no government job for csc it's for core branch people so someone suggested me prepare for upsc but like leaving such a high paying job and taking that risk of preparing for upsc i do not want to go via that path so i i got to know like there are some job as well for computer science student like nic nilet bar isro all these are there so then i identified that what is the main exam if you prepare you will be able to prepare for all these so gate is the you can say it is a mother of all these exams if you prepare for gate you you are ready for all these exams as well so i thought of preparing for gate so that i actually i have given uh, bar as well i given i got air 1 in bar last year and nilet also air 1 i got nic i got air 2 and currently i am scientist b in nilet i have joined 3 months back okay right there. so through gate you want to explore all this right uh... yeah my aim was like prepare for the best you are ready for like the below level exam okay right and you can also um, try some popular psus also yeah yeah yes yeah. also through this gate so you don't want to pursue your mtech in iits <laughs> no 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 sir yeah. that is something interesting mr rishi you are so fascinated towards the government sector jobs yeah yeah, yeah sir uh, okay then that's good right uh, rishi uh, what was your specific strategy on the day of uh, actual gate examination in the gate examination hall yeah yeah so sir i actually uh, as you, like as i told i have given like tons of exam like even uh, like iit je je mains then kvpy uh, then bits so i got top rank in all these exam and then government exams also i got so actually before i going to the exam i was confident like whatever i know i will be able to deliver so i do not have that exam pressure like which most of the student have it while giving the exam and because of that they get the less marks so my strategy for solving the paper was like whatever uh, i know i will do that first uh, like uh, for example i started with a like, computer network my i worked in cisco palo alto all these are networking company so i started with only subjects which i was good in it and i do not solve uh, msq first because uh, like we are we are never sure in msq whether we are correct or not so i just solved the gate one marks question and they were very easy even in the set two as well so my uh, focus was complete the 50% of the paper uh, 50 to 70% of paper in the one hour like at least skim through a first time because if you see the green marks in the right column you get that confidence like if you are done with the paper in the 50 to 60% uh, in the uh, one hour so for the rest of the two hour uh, your nerves calm down pressure release so that helps to solve that tougher question like the two marks question so my strategy was to uh, see lot of green checks on the co- uh, question panel so that i will decrease my pressure level and will able to because initially in the first 10 minute i i was also a little bit pressurized so i was not able to solve many question but then i drank some water took the deep breath and then i started solving it uh, one marks question that gave me confidence uh, and then i moved to the tougher question two marks question okay uh, rishi uh... where are you from which state are you from uh, sir i am from madhya pradesh uh, indore indore right okay very good rishi i congratulate you once again and thank you for uh, joining and sharing your uh, right uh, yeah yeah tips etc thank, thank, thank you thank you for conclude this uh, interview uh, can you briefly give some tips to the aspirants of the gate examination particularly in the computer science paper yeah so uh, like what i feel that many students uh, keep moving from one question to another one content to another i will say pick a coaching stick to it and blindly follow the pyqs many people do random question tougher than gate two times three times tougher than gate but they are not even able to complete the gate pyqs i would say 
focus on like main focus should be to do the gate pyqs 3 to 4 times that will give you that because even in the set 2 as well many questions were uh, inspired from the pre previous year questions so stick to a coaching don't move from one coaching to another solve your coaching material and then focus completely on the pyqs don't uh, move here and there and you will see the ups and downs you will get less marks in test but don't take it as a uh, like don't get demotivated Instead, you should get the motivation that I have done the mistake. Now I will. I have already done it. I won't be able. I, I won't be doing it in the gate. So uh, and just believe the process. Repeat it. So uh, I I would say uh, that should be the strategy. Right. Thank you, Rishi. Right. Uh, I wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you.